Hey guys, and welcome to my video today on what is the best VPN for Mac users. Uh, and that's really gonna be ExpressVPN. So today I'm gonna be talking about, uh, or actually showing you some examples like using Netflix and unblocking Netflix. Also, what is it about ExpressVPN that makes it best for Mac? And, and of course, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And also I have links in the description if you do wanna pick up Express, uh, which will include any of the uh, best deals and discounts, promotions going on and so forth. So one of the things you wanna look for is making sure when you load the app here, like I just loaded ExpressVPN app right up here, you wanna make sure that it has this, the same features that uh, you'd expect from this, the app on for Windows users. Sometimes what can happen is the Mac users may get a, some reduced functionality. Uh, so, for example, maybe they won't have the same protocols available to them. Instead of having, you know, five protocols, or I'm sorry, four protocols and then the automatic, maybe they'll have automatic in, in two or three or something like that. Uh, and that's the same for all these different features. Like on startup, they may not have the same abilities or features that the... Uh, PC users might have. So that's one thing to consider, and that's why I like Express, uh, because you do get uh, the features that you would want, uh, especially for a, for a VPN. The other thing that you want to look at is just the performance that you'd expect a VPN to provide. So things like streaming abilities, maybe unblocking Netflix, um, masking your location, and overall performance, you know, being able to, whether you want to torrent or stream, whatever's, whatever it is you want to use a VPN for, that it's going to have your back, so to speak, and do it well. And that's truly where ExpressVPN uh, shines ab above the rest, especially for Mac users, is that you do get the best streaming performance. So like, as an example, with Netflix, right now I have uh, ExpressVPN turned on, it's connected to a Seattle location, and it's playing just fine. Uh, what happens with a lot of VPNs is when you're watching or when you're trying to uh, watch Netflix while having the VPN turned on, Netflix will show a warning sign to say, hey, sorry for the interruption, but you have a VPN on. Turn off your VPN if you want to keep using Netflix. And so if any of you have experienced that, you know how frustrating that can be. And so then what you end up having to do is go through and try to find other servers maybe to connect to and then maybe it'll work for a little bit and then all of a sudden it's not working again or you'll see it buffering you know it'll play and then it'll start buffering and that's just because um, with a lot of other VPNs they end up slowing down your speed so your internet speed starts being a lot slower and especially depending on the server you connect to if the server nearest to you isn't working well then you're having to connect to a one that's farther away and so then your speeds might be reduced and Anyway, there's all sorts of issues that can, that can kind of happen with that. So, again, that's why ExpressVPN works really well. Uh, but then, again, not only for unblocking, say, something like Netflix, but if you want to torrent, uh, you can do that safely. One of the features that's great is they have this network lock. This will stop all Internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unex unexpectedly. So the reason that's important is if you're torrenting and you're uh, downloading or file sharing something that you want to make sure no one else sees that you're doing it. You don't um, want your internet provider to see. Uh, you don't want your government uh, to see or whatever, whoever it is. If, if you don't want them to see, then this is really important because if for some reason your VPN were to disconnect unexpectedly, and you didn't know it, even if you did know it, it could be a second or two that information gets transferred publicly. So now all of a sudden your ISP, your internet provider saw for whether it's a few seconds, a few minutes, a few hours, however long it goes without you knowing, they are seeing exactly what you're downloading. They are seeing exactly what you were torrenting. And so um, depending on what you were downloading and depending on the location you were downloading it in, that could be maybe a big issue for some people. So that's why this is really important with a VPN and all good VPNs should have this. That's why Express, uh, uh, again, one of the reasons I like it is just in case this were to happen, it will stop your internet connection. Uh, so you won't transmit anything. Now, the other neat thing about Express and the reason, again, I uh, consider it the best for Mac users is this this doesn't really even happen as far as uh, uh, unexpected disconnects. I, I can't remember the last time that happened with Express where it even disconnected on its own. Not to say it couldn't, um, but if it were, again, you're protected. So, And then there's also features like split tunneling. Uh, say, for example, you just want to use your VPN when you're torrenting. Well, you can um, set it up here 
and so that it will uh, uh, basically you're saying I just want to use ExpressVPN when I'm using a, a torrent otherwise I'm not going to I don't really need to use my VPN and so it's a nice convenient feature that we're not having to necessarily turn it off and on and, and so forth so um, again there's just so much more I could go into but I just wanted to give you kind of an overview for Mac users why ExpressVPN is such a great pick and, and again because you get the feet all the features that you want to have that should come with your VPN that sometimes uh, might PC users might get but Mac users won't get so you get all those features and then the other side of it is that all these features actually work really well and that's where Express like I said is is truly on top in that regard so um, as I said before I'll put links in the description um, there's oftentimes deals and discounts that you don't get when you just go to the website and so I'll put that um, whatever is the lowest best I can find for you guys again I'll put that in the description so feel free to take advantage of that if you like otherwise thanks so much for watching and uh, again if you guys have any other questions suggestions for the videos let me know in the comments below but otherwise I will see you in the next video